Controlling invasive vegetation on watersheds without the risk of herbicide contamination. Dense growth of invasive shrubs and brush are rapidly choking many of our fields and forests. Many areas are virtually impenetrable, making it very difficult to apply herbicides. Uprooting and shredding can quickly knock down heavy infestations. Immediately after mechanical treatment, the land is much more attractive, accessible, and productive. A thick carpet of mulch replaces a dense tangle of invasives. If it is desired to really clean up a site, the shredder can also grind stumps. Or root wads of uprooted trees may be ground flat. Where terrain is not too adverse, trails and fire breaks may be constructed more quickly and with less disturbance than bulldozing or excavating. Often visual beauty and recreation potential can be greatly increased. Here is the view from the shredded site in the previous photo. Wildflowers were planted on this site using the same equipment used to uproot and shred the invasives. Here a big tree lost an invasive brush was revealed for hikers on a nearby path to enjoy. Bittersweet vines can choke whole sections of woodland climbing high up into the tree canopies. The two-way rake on the Forest Savers machine is excellent for ripping down and uprooting bittersweet vines. The rake also works extremely well for uprooting invasive shrubs and small trees. Uprooted invasives are then shredded into mulch. Sometimes it's not practical or just causes too much soil disturbance to uproot before shredding. Without uprooting, most invasives will re-sprout quite quickly. If herbicide is to be used, much less is required to treat the small sprout. To avoid herbicide use, re-sprouting invasives can be flamed with 2 million BTU per hour torches. Quick flaming ruptures the cells in the leaves. That's all it takes to kill the top of the plant. You can see the leaves turn darker as the cells rupture. Here a single torch treatment system is headed to a steep pasture site. Flaming is very effective on large barberry, multiflora rose, and honeysuckle. Once again, quick flaming is all that's required to kill back the tops. The flame-treated invasive shrubs quickly turn brown. One month later, the leaves have fallen off. More than four months later, there's a little bit of re-sprouting at the base of the shrubs. Thirteen months after treatment, sprouting at the base has increased. In the second treatment, dead branches fueled the fire. Four months after the second treatment, the invasive shrubs are just charred skeletons. There is much more information at ForestSavers.com.